Water Espresso Cookie might be the overall winner of the entire balance patch. The passive now does 200% increased damage if you attack the frozen enemy on your turn, which is a lot of damage. So in typical arena offense uh, video fashion, we have Tiana Galleon. We have the Tyrant in here because Tyrant freezes and the Water Espresso needs to attack something that's already frozen to do the big damage. So let's see if we actually freeze this. We will not. <laughs> In typical Summoner's War fashion, the unit that probably should have been the most likely to be frozen uh, winds up being the least likely to be frozen because Summoner's War. Because Summoner's War. Okay, so let's see the grinding. Phrased very weird. Uh, this should do a decent amount of damage. It won't do so much damage against the monkey or the like. Uh, this is a terrible, terrible spotlight. Uh, let's see the damage on... The aerial. That's where we'll probably see the most damage. 20k last hit. I was actually expecting the Leica to go down there, but that's... Right, it's Summoner's War. It's Summoner's War. We could definitely hit this team. Theoretically. I'm getting frustrated because I've just recorded like 10 different clips where nothing... I mean, Tiana was the only one that actually landed her skills. Tyron didn't land his skills. Galligan didn't land his skills. It, it genuinely does not matter how much accuracy you can- Okay, we can use this clip now. That's after I just kept complaining. But yes, yeah, very frustrating. But it's summoners. It's typical summoners war. So let's see. We have the uh, defense breaks. We have the freezes. We need so much setup for this. That's the, that's the downside. He can do the damage, but we need so much setup. Let's see. That was a lot of damage. That was very nice. When the setup works, it's not necessarily the uh, espresso cookie's fault. It's more that it doesn't matter how much accuracy you put on the units. They just they'll do whatever they feel like doing. Not the greatest defense, but we can definitely hit this. I I, I suppose we're just get, we're doing a damage test now. Is is what it is. Abelia is not going to take. Well, for many reasons, Abelia is not going to take that much damage, so we're just going to be uh, clearing this and uh, autoing Abelio, I suppose. This one should actually be fine because the Espresso Cookie has a skill 1 that does block beneficial. It's probably not going to be fine, but theoretically, as always, it could be fine. So let's see. Let's see what actually happens, but the block beneficial effects. Hey, it's such a low chance. We'll just uh, clear this, and then we will auto. And I'll see you guys in an hour. But can we hit this defense? Because this is actually something that people will use. So let's see if we can handle... Uh, I don't know that they have. Let's see how much HP they probably have. We're not going to get a lot of value from the Camila. I mean, damage on the Camila. We're not going to get a lot of value with the Camila not having the freeze. We should be able to hit this one. That's me not knowing if things are going to actually work. If Tyron is going to work, if Galleon is going to work. Varad would be even better, though. For those of you that have Varad. Okay. It's fine. We'll just uh, target this. We'll auto. This could be, we will not freeze. I know we will not freeze. Could be frustrating. Let's see, we're not gonna do so much damage against these kinkies. However, I think we still will do a decent amount of damage with that, uh, that buff. The damage buff passive, because everything is frozen. So, hopefully we take out this Ariel. Yep, we did a decent amount of damage to those kinkies. Let's finish this off, and we'll put on auto. 22k. Even without the crit, 22k. We could hit this, probably. Let's see if Tion Lang. Okay, we get the freeze. Do they get the? Do they cut? Do they proc? They do not. Holly Bear is not going to take that much damage. Let's see how much everything else takes. Looking good. Hopefully, we can freeze and defense break the Abelio and the 
Vanessa. If we cannot, uh, they probably don't have crazy runes, but it's not really about the runes. It's about the RNG. This should wipe everything. Perna comes back. Camila comes... Oh, well, Camila's not going to get wiped, but yeah. Close enough. They just didn't have crazy runes. But at least we got to see what it can do when the skills work. I don't think we can hit this because there's too many RNGs that could go wrong. So we'll see. There's just too many RNGs that can go wrong. We need to actually land everything. Okay. Let's see if it kills anything. It does not. Almost. But Triana did just enough. That's not bad with skill one with that passive. Not bad at all. That's a decent amount of damage. Could be a defense that we see on rush hour. Maybe. Uh, I think that what's going to happen is Juno is going to cut because of the speed buff and the ragdoll passive. So let's see if that is the case. It is not the case. Let's see how much reflect damage we take. That is beautiful. Again, this is just... We hope Tyron works. Varad would be better. We don't need the speed lead here. We're going to outspeed regardless. I know he's going before the Galleon. Uh, I, 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 let me cut some of the comments off. I know he's going before the Galleon. I know put him after the Galleon. I, this is not my first rodeo. Um, we're here to see... I just didn't want to re-ruin him. We're here to see this unit. That's what we care about. I know there's going to be comments. I'm going to try to hit as many teams that look like this as possible. The freeze is really good against this. Actually, this one, I'm glad we have the Tyrant Leader skill. He freezes everything. Maybe he was happy that I said that. This should take everything or three quarters of them out. We can hit this one. It's not the most meta, but we can at least hit it. No Abelio. That's fine. The, the biggest issue, well, the second biggest issue is Abelio, though. But it was him in the Hollyberry. We'd hit this one. It's, again, not the... It's like halfway there, and then they have the Wusa and the... Uh, Iris. We got all the freezes. All the defense bricks. This is a rush hour defense. This is something we would, uh, we would see. How many freezes? Not what we were hoping for. Okay. This is a rush hour defense for sure because we just lost to it. I suppose we didn't lose yet. We still have like two more moves before we lose. All right. Let's do this. There we go. Great damage. Is he good? Yes, absolutely. Is he usable if RNG is in your favor? Because remember, not only do you need defense breaks, you also need the freezes if you can get both of those then you're good to go if you can't then you're gonna have a really hard time trying to get the damage that you need out of him anyway that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed it this is one of the best units in the balance patch for sure uh we'll test the rest of them out though so see you as always in the next one